हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड अ न्यू टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज फाइंड टॉप 25 एंड बॉटम 25 परसेंट कस्टमर्स बाय सेल्स सो लेट्स से यू हैव अ यू हैव अ वेबसाइट अमेजन डॉट कॉम यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट विच आर योर टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कस्टमर्स राइट सो दैट यू कैन गिव दैम सम ऑफर और वॉट एवर राइट एंड ऑल्सो यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट विच आर बॉटम ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कस्टमर बाई सेल्स हु आर नॉट बाइंग मच राइट सो दिस विल बी अ गुड एक्सरसाइज राइट सो इफ यू आर इन टू डेटा साइंस डोमेन और यू आर इन टू डेटा डोमेन दिस इज अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व एंड सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू फंक्शन एंड टाइल फंक्शन दिस इज अनालिटिकल फंक्शन इन एस टूएल वेरी इजी टू यूज वेरी इंटरव and through this video we will solve the problem as well as learn how to use this and once we learn this it is not just top 25 bottom 25 we can find find top 10% top 5% top 1% anything right so let's let's understand uh, let's start the problem okay so we have this orders data set i have used it in ma many places in my videos and it has all the order details right order id order date it has the customer name which we need and second thing we need is sales right so we want to see sales for each customer right we have the sales so first of all we want customer wise sales right that's after that only i will i will be able to find out top 25 and bottom 25 right so let's let's find customer wise sales each customer how much sales he is contributing so i will say customer name right or customer id also we can use sum of sales okay uh and then from orders group by customer name again right so let's say as total sales okay and let's do order by total sales descending just to see who are the top customers for now okay okay let's run this so we have got these are the customers right these are the different customers and this is the total sales contributed by these customers right now what next i have to do is i have to find top 25 so there are 793 top 25 will be around 200 customers right to 800 divided by 4 will be uh, 200 so there will be 200 top 25 customers and bottom 25% be also will be around 200 customers so i need to find it who are those so how i can do it so what i will do for this exercise first let's take only 16 customers just to explain how it works right so i will say select top 16 right so top 25% will be top 4 and bottom 4 right so let's run this okay so we have 16 customers what i'm expecting is i want to find out that these four are my top 25% customers now here i can see easily because there are only 16 but if there are lot more we have to do it programmatically right so let's let's create this as a ct with ct as and i am just doing this okay now let's do select start from ct right and i should get it whatever i am seeing again okay now let's use the entire function i will explain now how how we can use it So I will say end tile, right? Now in end tile, I have to tell in how many parts I want to distribute my customers, right? So I want to divide my customers into four part, right? Top twenty five, then next twenty five, next then next twenty five, and then bottom twenty five. So there are total four parts. So I will say I want to create four groups. So end tile function will create four groups, right? now it will create four groups but based on what okay so i will now next i have to tell that based on the total sales right i will say over it it the syntax is same how we use the window functions it is a window function actually so order by total sales descending right so what i am saying uh, sort the customers by total sales in descending order and then divided into four groups okay so let's see what it gives as cust groups okay and let's run this now if you see we have a new column created cust group right and top 
top four customers are given customer group one 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 the next four are given two 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 next three 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 and then bottom four 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 right so these becomes my top 25 customers top 25 percent customers in this data set for, for the 16 customers right so if i have to do that i can just say select star from where first groups equal to one right if i run this i will get my top 25 customers and i can do whatever i want to do if i want no, bottom 25 i can just do customer groups equal to four right so this is it right but let's go ahead a little bit more okay so what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now i'm going to run this on full data set now okay so let's remove this top 16 and order wise is not required right so let's let's run this now okay so if you see we have 793 rows right and we have the cust groups created right so you see and then till some point it is one and then it's starting two right so let's see till which point it is one so if you see if you see till till 199 it is one right now if you see 793 divided by 4 is not 199 right it will be lesser but how come 199 is coming right so let's go back and and take our 16 customers back okay so let's do this instead of 16 customers this time i am taking 17 because you may ask if 4 is a multiple of number of those it is easy but what happens when it is not so for example here we have 17 customers right and i want to divide them into four what will happen right where this 17th customer will go so let's see what will happen what entire function will do if there are more more uh, customers uh, with the multiple of this four then it will assign the first group the next member so if you see there are five members in the first group right so this is how it works if if there are 17 and you are you are saying entire four so to the first group it will give five five customers right and then rest of them will be two 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 three three four four right now if you say there are 18 customers right so what will it will do for the first group and second group it will give uh, 5 5 and rest of the two groups it will be 4 4 right so if i run this again so if you see there are 5 for 2 group 2 also it is 5 okay so what it will do from the first group it will keep adding 1 1 uh, to second group third group fourth group and again if it is a multiple of 4 then it is easy right and if it is not then for, for the top group it will give the extra customer okay and this is one thing second thing is now what if i want reason wise top customers right another thing is if you want top 10 customers right so you can just say entire 10 let's say we have 40 customers and if you say entire 10 right it will divide into 10 groups right so each group will represent 10 percent of customers right and you if you say group equal to one in this case you will get top 10 percent customers right easy so easy it is right so top 10% will be your top 4 customers right here because there are total 40, 10% will be 4 and you can just filter cust group equal to 1 and it is done right. Now what if you want reason wise right. So what I have to do I will say give me first of all sales reason wise customer name reason right and here also reason group by okay so this will give me reason wise customers sales right so in this reason these are the customers in this reason these are the customers right let me sort it by reason as well okay so in the central reason these are my top customers right and then there are different reasons central south west right east we have four reasons okay so now the the only thing i have to do is let, let's go with the entire four for now and i will say partition by reason order by total sales that's it right now what will happen 
for each partition it will assign different groups right for each partition it will assign customer groups 1 to 4 for central it will assign customer groups 1 to 4 for for west 1 to 4 similarly for all four regions so let's see so order by is not required let's do this okay so if i see for central region if you see customer groups from 1 and then we will have all the customers group 2 right central is going on then east it is starting when east starts again it will start from 1 you see right so this is how it works see central is there till 4 so there are 629 customers in the central region and they have been assigned customer groups from 1 to 4 based on the total sales right again for east region it starts from 1 again right so it will check within the east region what is the total purchase by each customer and based on that it will assign groups 1 to 4 right so this is how entire function works very intuitive very easy to use very useful right if you like this video like the hit the like button subscribe to the channel and if you have any other questions on this function let me know in the comment section have a have a good day thank you